Hello, everyone, and welcome once again to the Adventures Travel Club television show. Betty, we're back in this beautiful park in Budapest, and I'll tell you, this place was so great, wasn't it? And, and these buildings that they had from the um, leftover from the uh, exposition that they had. Yeah, years they're ago. gorgeous. And you know, when I see these things, and I, if I didn't know better, I'd say, "Oh, I know what Marv did. He just got a bunch of postcards and he put them up there <laughs> because they are post." card perfect that's what it looks they like they really huh? are yeah. yes yes no it is very nice very nice indeed and uh because we're just about getting ready here pretty quick to leave budapest and of course then we're going to head on into austria uh which is of course is one of our favorite countries oh, yes, too especially vienna you know uh -huh. but you see these beautiful cities like budapest and vienna and prague which we're also going to go to later in this series too are just so magnificent yeah. especially the architecture and I and the history I don't know I, I really really like it but see this is the way you imagine everything uh, you I mean I imagine everything mm -hmm. going to be those beautiful old buildings the slate roofs I presume that slate what did you think it was yeah I think slate, it is yeah. yeah but anyway we're gonna get now ready for our, our time, last, hmm? the last supper oh, <laughs> the last thank supper God it wasn't huh? no but anyway we're getting ready for that and while we're doing that we're gonna hear just a little bit of Hungarian music. <laughs> So today we're heading westwards out of Budapest, slightly north, but looking on a map, look to the west, just slightly northwards, and our destination today is Vienna. Actually, it was a very nice drive from uh, Budapest to Vienna, and you know what surprised me? There was, uh, there was no really border crossing either when we got into Austria. Uh, as there had been in some of the other Eastern European countries. Nope. So that that kind of surprised me a little bit. But uh, what surprised me more than anything, Betty, was when we looked out on the side of the road, and we'll see this a little bit <laughs> as we go down the road, the sunflowers. I mean, they were everywhere, everywhere. Must, I've never seen so many sunflowers in my life. It was incredible. They must use them for, for oil. S sunflower because seed it, yeah, oil? The su yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. Because they do produce a good oil. You so. see that S Suzuki of Hungary and... Honda of Hungary. <laughs> Isn't that funny? Yeah, that <laughs> and then look, coming up over here, there's McDonald's on one side of the road, and I think it was Pizza Hut on the other sure, side, too. Sure, look at down here. We could be do going down any right. highway. If you didn't look at the signs, that is. We could be going down any highway in any place in anywhere the United <laughs> States. Yeah, any, well, sure, you're anywhere. right, anywhere. Yeah, especially, yeah. Now, I'm, where's, my, where's my sunflowers? I know, there they are. Out there, you can just see the little yellow. Now, look at here. See, now, Fields you wouldn't know that. These. If you Fields hadn't if you hadn't brought that to yeah. our attention, from here, you don't really know that those are sunflowers. Do you? Oh, can yeah. Can you see that they're, oh, the sure. leaves and all that stuff yeah. on them? I had a telephoto I lens on that thing. Oh, you could yeah. see it through yours. <laughs> but, I mean, like for our viewers right now, they yeah. would not be able to discern that those were sunflowers. So that was very nice of you to tell them. Thank you. Well, you're going to yeah. see a lot more. <laughs> you're going to see a lot more. <laughs> Along the way. There, yeah, there, I mean, the on both sides of the road, all the way, almost all the way into Austria, were these sunflowers. and. They were magnificent. Marv, isn't there just something that when you just said the word Austria, doesn't that just bring wonderful thoughts to your mind about Austria, beautiful Austria? Just it, the name. Well, you know what it brings. Yeah, and it also brings to mind a lot of uh, beautiful memories because I, fortunately I've been there a few times, and I, I really, really love it. But, and, and something we should mention now as we're going to get into Austria, in this particular area where we're crossing, you know, it's kind of flat. But most of Austria is made up of mountains and uh, of course which we're not going to see right here and is we're not going to see that necessarily as we get into uh, Vienna either but uh, to this the portion as we're heading from Hungary into into and we're going to go a little bit north and, and west up into uh, Austria there's my sunflowers there you go. Uh -huh. uh, is is kind of lo like rolling hills like you see here but but flat by comparison I mean uh, you know, you, you're going to see the Austrian Alps, and you see as you get more into uh, into Austria. And most of the country is pretty uh, pretty mountainous, except for the, this particular area that we're and we haven't crossed the border yet. We're still on our way. Look at this wonderful highway that we're on. Beautiful you know, highway. It looks like they've just done it over, huh? That's so. Could have been. Doesn't it look like Could've that? Been. 
I well, mean, even the paint is white. <laughs> yeah, you know, there's been so much building with the uh, European Economic Union that uh, a lot of countries, and w another one that I uh, can recall is Ireland. Some of the roads there were not too terribly great. Now they put in some super highways. Uh, if you look here, not at the McDonald's sign, but we're going to look up the hill on our, uh, on our right-hand side after a bit. This is coal mining country. And uh, Betty had mentioned, she said, gee, Manny, they're doing coal mining here, but it doesn't look very polluted at all. And it doesn't. The sky looks very clear. And uh, as we look up onto the mountain, on the, uh, on the uh, Hungarian side, we'll see a uh, statue of an eagle, I believe it is, up there. We go a little bit further, we're going to see yeah. the, the elevator, I guess, that takes us down into the mine. The rest of the oil they import from the Arab countries like the rest of Europe, you know, most of our oil comes from the Arab states. But Austria has its own oil, to say about 25% of its domestic needs. And on the refinery containers here, you might see the initials OMW. And that's short for Austrian Oil Company. So here on the left. And then on the right, because you're right higher up than me, you might be able to see greenhouses on the right. So because of Austria's geology, because it's such a mountainous country, I know you don't believe me because we're in the northeast corner and it's quite flat here, but uh, three-fifths of Austria is covered by mountains. And they don't have the terrain, the ground to grow crops, you know, vegetables and so on. So much of it is imported. And some they grow themselves in these, you'll see more of them as we get closer to Vienna, what we call greenhouses or hot houses. They grow some fruit, vegetable and flowers in them, in this area around Vienna. We're getting very close now to the centre of Vienna, so we'll be stopping very shortly. And then you'll be able to get something to eat or drink. Well, Betty, here we are. We have finally arrived now in uh, Vienna. And you know, that wasn't a very long ride either. It wasn't very long. And sometimes when the scenery is sort of the same, it's such a wonderful opportunity to nap. <laughs> you know, really. It's because yeah. you you see the same thing. And so you can just close your eyes Did and you relax. Did you take a nap from, from I, I don't. I don't think I, I really mean, nap, well. but I do love yeah. to close my eyes and, you know, just drift a little bit. Uh -huh. And then I'm more refreshed when I get off, ready to go. <laughs> ready to go. <laughs> After you've drifted for a while, After huh? I've drifted, well, yes. Well, I had never come into uh, Vienna this way before. We've flown in uh, before and come in through uh, through Germany before, so this was uh, this was new for us to see. Uh, this is not the... the, the I beg your, I go again. I I did that your last pardon. Week too, didn't I? <laughs> the Blue Danube. This is uh, one of the tributaries or one of the arms of the uh, of the Danube and uh, I didn't know that the Danube had arms but that was explained to us that it did have and so I won't even say a word you know what it led that what that led to what arms and what else does something have if they have arms another river you mean <laughs> forget what? it it wasn't very good I guess okay. but if you have arms don't you usually have legs yeah so well, yeah, you can say a leg, leg of, of a journey. river or a leg can of a journey. Say? Yeah. Oh, 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 did you see the tower up there? No, I was St. Stephen's Cathedral, way off, in the, way off in the background. And that's really where we're going to head to, of course, which everybody probably knows is the, the downtown area, the old town area. And by the way, that was our driver. <laughs> yeah, that was our driver, right. <laughs> in case and, you didn't know, that was our driver. And he was a really neat driver. He was very, 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 very good, as a matter of fact. In fact, he doesn't live very far from here. That's he, right. He very, uh, lived just outside of Vienna. Very so. conscientious. Right. Hey, well, we're turning now onto what is known as the main drag or the Ringstrasse. I love the way you say that. We've come now onto the famous Ring Road, which is a boulevard, about two and a half miles in length, and it goes one way. Now, the first building of interest, Marvin, is over here to the left. This used to be the Ministry of War. The man on horseback outside there on the left is General Rodetsky. You know when we have the New Year's concert every year from Vienna, Last you hear the Radetzky March at the end of the concert? Well, mm -hmm. he's the general for whom it was written, General Radetzky. The building on the left, former Ministry of War. Have a look above the first floor windows. Can you see every soldier is wearing a different helmet? And every one represents the country which the Habsburgs ruled over. All along the first floor. Oh, I've got to talk. 
<laughs> you see, they're all wearing a different helmet. So when I mentioned about the Habsburgs having a mighty empire, that gives you an idea. Look, they're all wearing a different helmet all around the corner as well. Now this uh, boulevard we are on is called the Ring Road, Ringstrasse. Fortification walls used to stand here and the old city is to the right, inside the walls as was. This red brick building on the left, this is the Academy of Fine Arts, Museum of Fine oh, Arts Chelsea, on Chelsea, the left. Look, look. Yeah. Did you see Chelsea? So I mentioned that the traffic going around this boulevard is one way, but the trams, you know the streetcars, they go in both directions. So if you do cross over this avenue, remember, cars one way, but uh, streetcars go both ways. On the left we have the city park. This is where we're going to come tonight to see the Strauss concert. And if you look through the next opening on the left, you will see Johann Strauss, the father of the waltz. And we're going to see how it's done this evening. Well, this is a very beautiful park, as she mentioned, and we are going to go a bit later to uh, hear some of uh, Strauss's wonderful music uh, later after uh, after we have a little dinner and rest up for a little bit. But uh, here on the Ringstrasse on our right hand side there are some absolutely magnificent buildings. And of course as you look around you have to remember that a lot of the buildings that we see were, were palaces at one time uh, and were you know occupied by an awful lot of royalty i suspect mm -hmm. in fact betty remember one time when we were there and we started wandering around we went in these little courtyards and places and the outside of the building was nice but when we got on the inside fabulous incredible your your great word fabulous yeah, it, it was you know, fabulous it, right? it, it's it's so in, it's so amazing at, at the facades of some of these places that you think oh my you know mm -hmm. and then like you say you go in and they're beautifully furnished we've always had very nice hotels they're all four-star hotels that we stay at we're coming up now to the opera house and uh, this is a magnificent building as well I had an opportunity on this trip to take a tour through the opera house and it was very nice but you know what it wasn't exactly what I expected mm -hmm. I think the opera house in San Francisco is really nicer, nicer on the inside yeah than this this was a little bit art deco somewhat on the inside and that kind of surprised me because i thought with not all of here the, huh yeah not here yeah <laughs> any not, place but no, not in, not in vienna well I mean, i'm it, glad i didn't waste my money going you know. in oh it's worth going to i mean it really oh, was. now we're going to change our story and this <laughs> building which we've seen before looks like it was getting ready to be painted oh yeah i still don't know what that is i don't know maybe somebody can tell me but that was I've, I've always been impressed with that particular building now on the left hand side there is a vegetable market over here and uh, there's lots of wonderful things for sale but if you go a little bit further you will find a flea market yes oh I love these things oh they're great <laughs> I they're have great. more fun at these places I love to look at their handmade things and buy a skirt or a blouse or something that comes from the country that mm -hmm. I've been visiting and oh man uh, just leave me there and there were a lot of uh, antique type of things that were there too in that one and that that was I thought that was interesting and we got there and what kind of wandered through and a lot of people were just at the time of day that it was they were just kind of winding up I'm their thinking sales you know? this must have been i don't really remember this had to be a weekend because the traffic is almost negligent in uh and 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 during the week we it would be real populated yeah. with cars and people so do you remember no i don't to tell you the truth i really don't i depend on you for that kind of information <laughs> To remember what day we yes uh -huh. well I know it's not Tuesday because we're not in Belgium right? all right okay then that's fine <laughs> no. then you're forgiven yeah anyway uh, we're driving through various parts of uh, Vienna here and now we're going to uh, go into the park which we just saw a little bit of uh, when we went through the Ringstrasse and uh, they have performances upstairs if you look where those lights are up there and they also have performances. Uh, outside and we opted for the outside one because Betty wanted to play hostess and she just had oh, a lot of champagne on. and orange juice to serve everybody that afternoon right it was fun well I did pick up the bottle of champagne and well I did the other two simply because I wanted to make sure our people were well taken care of and before they, they came and picked up all this stuff yeah no, this, this and it was, was fun. Nice. It was see the weather was nice as you can see. We didn't have to have jackets or anything on. It was a beautiful. I evening. enjoyed this evening a lot, and it, you got the whole flavor of being then in, in Vienna. Vienna. Right. Yes, and we're going to give you kind of a sample of some of the music. I'm not we. 
the, the concert was was quite long, so we're not going to present the whole thing, but we'll give you some uh, little pieces of it here on the show, so that you also can flavor some of that wonderful, wonderful atmosphere. And oh, fact, oh, here come Uh-oh, the musicians here we right come. now. Yeah, and they're all very, very young. I wonder if they were probably all university s- students. I was going to say they're probably know. students. Uh, but they certainly were good, and they they knew their music, and so we're going to listen to a little bit of it right now. <laughs> Without the director, huh? Gentlemen, good evening and a warm welcome to the historic Vienna Cruise Alon and our concert of polkas, marches and waltzes by the celebrated Strauss dynasty. That's the first stück by the Schnell Polka Band from Edward Strauss. And now a waltz, an artist's life, dedicated to all of Vienna's artisans, the poets, the painters, the sculptors, and of course, the musicians. And listen to yet, who's the leg? Thank you. 
Well, we hope that you enjoyed our visit to uh, Vienna, and uh, we'll see you next time. If you're interested in any of our trips, give Betty a call. 488-7443. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.